Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we had a nice one here today with a Fleetwood Max landslide. So we are in standard tuning, but we have a capo at the third fret. So therefore we can kind of play up here and it makes the song really be in um, kind of built off this E flat major chord, but we can just play it as a C. So there's a definitive picking pattern that he uses through a lot of this song. So let's take a look at that real quick. Just start with a C major chord. Now the pattern is... So what we're really going for here is a constant motion in the bass. That's really what's driving this guitar part. It sounds like this if you just isolate the bass. So that's all played with the thumb. So all the other notes work around that. So you want to really kind of listen for this while we're doing this. So the pattern off this first chord is, so it's thumb on the fifth string, then the index on the G string, then the thumb on the D string, and then the middle finger on the B string. Now we're back to start the pattern over again, except this time you're gonna stop on the D string whenever you get that thumb stroke on the D. So we have this. All right, so now I'll do that pattern on the exact uh, Satan pattern on this chord now. It's just, I'm gonna say this is the second fret here and just comparing it to the capo. Open string on the D and the G and the third fret on the B. Now you might be, if you listen to the track, there's a lot of guitar layers in there. So we're trying to isolate really the most essential one here um, that sounds fine by itself without all. So you might, there, there's notes missing because it's just, you know, you can't do it all with one guitar. Uh, then we get to an A minor seven chord. So it's just the open A string, second fret on the D, open G, first fret on the B. Same picking pattern there. And then to start over, you're gonna go back to that first chord by playing the same chord we did that was on the way down to the A minor seven. So those are the four chords. Uh, during the verse, there will be a section where he gets down to the A minor 7. Now the only other part we had to learn is the chorus. And that's when he comes straight out of the verse here. And it sounds like this. back to the verse. Now I did a little variation in there because he does constant variations throughout this song. It's really taking that essential picking pattern and taking it through these chords. And you can really do it and you can throw some pull-offs in there or hammer-ons in there. And I'll show you where you can put some of those. So we're going to really come out of this A minor chord to, and to this chord which you can really hear in the song really kind of leads us into the chorus. Now this chord is second fret on the low E string, open D, uh, second fret on the G, and third fret on the B. So I'm going to be ha picking the low sixth string and the D string with my thumb. Pattern is the same, you're just now just skipping the string. And then the the actual true chorus starts here. 
Now, how you want to do this, you're gonna, the thumb's going to be playing those two notes. And it really doesn't matter how you really time their, you can start with a pull off here, which I'm doing, and he, they do as well. Starting at the first fret here, pulling off to the open B string. Then the open D. So like this. Now, after you do that, hit the top, the third fret here on the high E string. And then the B string again. So we have this. And then back to the D. So make sure you keep this going. So that's probably the hardest maneuver there. And then this next chord is just going to be the sixth, I mean, sixth string, second fret, second fret on the G string, and the other strings are open. So we're going to be playing playing the picking pattern across the sixth, fourth, third, and second string. And then to an E minor. Now, they throw a little hammer on in there that sounds really good on this one. We're going to play twice as long as this E minor, so. So he's kind of keeping that going in the bass. And you can just pretty much hit, you know, the, the melody notes are, are pretty random. Anything that you want to do up there on the top two strings, really. But he does, in the middle of it, Instead of coming, just playing those two notes with a thumb, he does this. So you might want to throw that in there if you like it, or you can just hang out on that E minor chord. Just. All right, and then we're back to this C. That's just like in the verse of the song. And then that takes us back to start the chorus over. And then back to the verse. Alright, so that's uh, pretty much it. Those are the two main progressions that are used throughout the song. At the end of the song, sometimes they'll they'll pause on certain chords, but it's pretty easy to hear. It's just wherever you're at in the progression, when there's a pause, and that's where they stop. All right, so hope you guys can follow along with the song really well. Just capo at the third fret, standard tuning, should be good to go. All right, I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.